Hello mathematicians, welcome back to another video. This video is a continuation from the one last time, where we talked about multiplications of exponentials of the form a to the nth power times b to the nth power. So multiplying exponentials with different bases and different exponents together. And last time we were basically just dealing with some kind of special cases where we talked about composite number bases in the way that we had, for example, 15 times 18. And we found out that we could express 15 as 3 times 5 and 18 as well, 3 squared, so 9 times 2, 3 squared times 2. And then we would collect common terms, use exponentiation rules, yada, yada, yada. This is what we did. But a subscriber asked in the comments a very interesting question. What is going to happen if we have prime number bases, meaning for example 7 times 5? thing with prime numbers is that by definition their only two factors are 1 and themselves, meaning we can only express 7 as 1 times 7 and 5 as 1 times 5. And well, we can't really split anything up and collect liked factors, like factors. This is kind of hard here, but there are actually ways to do this. And we are going to consider two cases. Let us take a look at the first example. For example, 7 squared mm, times 5 to the fifth power. And the first case is when we can't ex express one of the exponents as a multiple of the other one. But what we can always do is, if we take a look at the bigger exponent, we can write it as a sum of one other exponent plus another exponent. Meaning, we are just going to dive right in. Five can be expressed as the sum of two things that includes two. If we have five apples, then those are two apples plus how many apples? Well, three apples here. Meaning seven squared times five to the three plus two power. Okay, five is nothing but three plus two. And now we are going to make use of the exponentiation rule where we had a to the nth power times a to the mth power is a to the n plus mth power. This is just this thing used backwards. So this is seven squared times 5 squared times 5 to the third power. And well, now there's a really cool thing. We are multiplying different bases, but same exponents together, meaning we are going to use associativity, bring the exponent to the outside, that was one of the exponentiation rules, and we are going to get 7 times 5, and the whole thing squared, times 5 to the third power. And then we are done. Cool, right? I mean, this is something you can do. This is the first case where we can express the bigger exponent basically as the sum of the lower exponent and another exponent. This is something we can do. And maybe you can reduce it even more. So 5 to the third power is 5 to the 2 plus 1 power and then you can collect even more like terms. This is something you can do. But I think you can get the point now. It's, it's quite easy. Now here's another thing I was talking about earlier. If we have the situation for example 7 squared times 5 to the 6 power where the bigger exponent is just a composite number of the lower exponent and another number. Meaning, how can we express 6 by 2 using a multiplication? Well, 6 apples are 2 times 3 apples, alright? So this makes 7 squared times 5 to the 2 times 3rd power. 2 times 3 is 6, obviously. It holds the natural numbers. Now we can make use of the exponentiating exponential rule, meaning 5 to the 2 times 3 power is 5 cubed squared. Using associativity leaves us with 7 squared times parentheses 5 to the 3rd power and the whole thing squared. And now we are at the same situation yet again. We are going to have different bases. Okay, 5 cubed is just another base. Now you can call it x, but the same exponents, meaning this is 7 squared times x squared. In our case, is 7 times x parentheses squared, leaving us with 7 times, open the parentheses, x in our case was 5 to the third power, 5 cubed, and the whole thing squared. And then we are done. This is the other situation we could be in. And I mean, it, it's, it's kind of cool. I mean, some of these things are way easier to compute now. 7 squared times 5 to the fifth power, kind of hard to compute. But we have 35, okay, 35 squared. This is something you could maybe compute in your head. It's, it's something a bit over a thousand, for example. But this is it for it. 
for now. This is it for now. This is it for now. Let, let's put it like this. Other than that, if you have any further questions, please put them down there in the comments. I, I hope this helped. If you know about any of your other fellow students who need some math help, then please tell them about this channel. Tell your teacher about this channel and, and tell them, yeah, this, this guy is kind of okay. He's doing a great job better than you. All right. So um, yeah, go, go over to his channel. Other than that, engineering clock out, we already sold quite a few so if you don't have one already get yourself one and other than that i think that's watching i'm wishing you guys flamble day ciao